Assalamualaikum, my name is Aida Today we are going to look into chapter 3 in the final year project thesis which is on um, methodology Now, methodology, a set of system of methods and principles um, of rules uh, regarding a discipline If we were to embark a project to develop a system then we would need to choose the correct methodology that explains step-by-step -step process from planning uh, to analysis to design development and further testing now the content of chapter 3 basically focus on the steps that you embark for your final year project and um, it is structured in a way that there are three three main main things that you need to put inside your chapter 3 Number one, as in the same with other chapters, you would need an introduction that will explain the kind of methodology that you choose for your project. For example, it can be agile methodology, it can be um, SDLC, waterfall model, um, prototyping model, it can be any model that is suitable for your project. If you have chosen uh, a specific methodology for this chapter, then in the second section, in the following section, which is section 3.2, you would de explain in detail about the steps that you take in this methodology. Um, in general, um, all methodology would have similar steps, planning, um, analysis, and design, um, development, and testing. However, different types of methodology will have different life cycle. Um, waterfall, for example, the phase from planning to analysis and design to development and to testing and further documentation is um, carried out consequently as a process. However, in different type of methodology, like the agile methodology or prototyping, the, the, the methodology itself will consist loops so that after you have finished um, one cycle, you, you have um, made a, make a complete implementation into a prototype, then you will go back to the you might go back to the analysis phase to review the requirement and redo the prototyping improve the prototyping into the second cycle okay so the steps that you take has to be explained in subsections of your um, section 3.2 so again 3.1 would be your introduction 3.2 is the methodology of your choice if it's prototyping then you write the prototyping methodology and within 3.2 you will have subsections further split into each phase that you undertake for example 3.2.1 you go for the first phase in your project which is planning if you are doing a project that requires um, getting the requirement from user let's say uh, you are doing a project you're doing a system a ticketing system for pbnj per persatuan bola sepak negeri johor then you would have um, to list out or to explain in detail the activities that you do during planning what kind of questions that you ask um, the user what kind of requirements that you bring back Next, 3.3 um, would be the requirement for hardware as well as software to develop your project. You can um, have the section split into two. First, you explain on all the hardware, what kind of uh, uh, operating system that you use. Is it on, on specific platforms such as Android or is it a web base? Then you go for specific um, the specification for the software and finally section 3.4 it is the same as in other other chapters as well the last section would be the summary of the section 
summary of the chapter. In the summary, you summarize overall this chapter has explained on the methodology chosen for the project, whatever, and then you continue with the last sentence would be something like the next uh, chapter would explain on, um, in this case, is the analysis and design of the system. Okay, so um, recap. 3.1 is your introduction, 3.2 is the methodology of your choice with the subsection of each phase that you undertake, 3.3 um, tells about your requirement, software and also hardware, and finally you conclude with um, summary in 3.4. Alright, all the best.